Alright, now we're at 61. Odd numbers. Woohoo. Alright, bring it on. Can God damn it! God, fuck! God, no! Oh, oh what the? Alright. Well, we should handle this a mature way. By jumping on it. Aborted cactus fetus. Alright, come on, let's hurry up and jump. Yay! Awesome sausage, making all your dreams come true. There we go. And what do we have here? It's a big ass room. Alright, come on. Power up defense down partner! For a second there, I thought it was another power up defense down for myself, and I was gonna think, well, holy shit! Well, we might as well, you know, keep it and then use it, and then I can do 9 damage, but no. The game just had to be an asshole and put a P at the end of it. Ooh, I think we're about to end. Oh, that's not what I thought. Well, we're not in the room that I thought it was going to be. Okay, yeah, this is this is really similar to the first Paper Mario in Bowser's uh, Castle, where you follow the one that has the flame. Except in the first game with Bowser's Castle, it just showed a whole array of fire, and uh, and then you just had to memorize the pattern. But with this, it's it's actually easier this time around as the torch will be lit in every room that you uh, go in and you don't have to go into one room and then memorize the pattern for the following rooms. It's hard to explain and I really hope that that made sense, but maybe it didn't. Regardless, I'm awesome. Yeah. But yeah, very, very easy. Simple to figure out. And it goes on for quite a long time. It's, it's really tedious. Eh, uh, boring rooms. More of it. I think there's like eight rooms of this. It's completely unnecessary. Unneeded in every way, shape, and form. Do, do, do. Alright. And down here, we enter another door. And yay, something. Oh, this is a... Uh, this is a very, very, very large room. And... And uh, there's actually quite a few things that can happen here. First thing we want to do is probably blow this up. Yeah, whatever, that works for me. It looks better if you put him in uh, the Chain Chomp's mouth, but whatever. If you look in the background, it's just a bunch of caves. It's really kind of cool. I think, for, for no apparent reason, I think it's pretty cool that it's a bunch of caves. Alright. And we come out of the pipe, and there's some chain chomps up here. They, they're they semi-tedious, but not with the stuff that I can do. And get hit. Wow, super guarded him. Pretty sure these are some, like, new enemies, so let's just go ahead and show them off. They're chain chomps, of course. And of course, we defeated them. Well, him. Now, I'm pretty sure Bobbery barely does shit to them. Yeah, one damage. They have a very high defense. But they're semi easy to super guard. I mean, even though their attacks are very, very sudden and swift, it's it's somewhat easy. Yeah, the, ex the explosion always clears out the fog. It seems like. It just came back! It, it, we just got rid of it, too, and. I lost my train of focus. Alright. Awesome. Missing jumps is awesome. Ooh, sweet. No, Foggy McFoggerson. There we go. Yeah! That just happened. And it, it only gave me 12 star points. For all the shit that it, they put me through, it gives me 12 star points. Isn't that amazing? Anyways, it's time to save. Yeah. And before we fight this chain, never mind. All right. So out of desperation, I felt it necessary to go ahead and use Supernova on them while I was panicking and curled up in the fe fetal position in the corner of my bedroom, screaming rape. 
Mario became an A-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get even bigger. Just like his ego. Alright. No, I'm not saying Mario has a big ego. I don't really see what he demonstrates to really, like, show that he has a big ego. Like, what, what does he really do that makes... You know, ignore my bar babbling about stupid stuff. Blue switch. They flip. I have nothing to say because I am pretty lame. That was a bad improvisation. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> that really was horrendous. Let's go ahead and change into our boat. Okay, yeah, every time that I get change into a boat in this game, I, I always think of how I miss sushi from the first game. I really do. Oh, and uh, something, like, a bit off-topic, but still on the topic of the game, just not currently what I'm doing. Um, somebody, a lot of people left comments. I did see that I, I completely forgot that Bo appears at Poshley Heights after you beat the game. So, I was getting frustrated that she didn't show up for no reason. Anyways, this is probably, if you don't know what to do, and if you, you haven't played through this game before, this is without a doubt the most tedious place in the entire dungeon. Anyways, what's so tedious about this place is, um, is that it, it's very tricky, except for some of the rooms that are rather easy, like, okay, Beyond, 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 complete all seven before, before. So, Beyond, 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 so I'm gonna assume one, two, three, before, before, yeah, I got that right. Now, see, that's rather confusing because it didn't say, like, left, 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 right, right. No, beyond, 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 before, before. Meaning beyond, like, beyond on the other side of the room, and before, meaning the beginning of the room. So, and the amount of times that the word is repeated is however many times you need to hit the block. Took me a long time to figure that out when I first played through this game. In fact, this game was so confusing my first time around, I actually have the strategy guide for it. But I'm definitely not using it here. Like, I'm seriously not. I have it. But, like, if I were to use the strategy guide in this Let's Play, I think that I would have been collecting every single item. Yeah, this is something we can't complete until, like, we head up to the upper floors. Uh, I'm just going to explain the puzzle right now. Um, basically, what happens is, see this red block right here? Well, this red block, if we go up to one of the upper levels, this red block is blocking this area. But, we just destroyed the block that's here, so the red block that's sitting here in the upper floor will disappear. It's just, whatever happens in the rooms is mirrored. It's just, it's, it's kind of a confusing concept to explain, but it's, it's easy to understand when you see it. It's something that you ha have to, like, see in order to believe. Alright, let's see. All you see isn't all there. B. Stones have power of stars. Touch it to pass through it. Yeah, this one took me a very long time to figure out too, but when it's the most simple thing ever, watch this, guys. I'm about to glitch the game. Sequence breaking! No, not really. That's what we're supposed to do. And out of the darkness comes a chest. A very nice chest, too, might I say. And out of the door we go, and into the next room we shall arrive. Right over here. No, go in, Mario. God, you're so lazy and fat, just like me. Oh, invisible, huh? Well, this one's kind of obvious. Like, if you don't figure this one out, you're the most, like, you're the epitome of stupidity. No, that's, that's mean. You're really not. All of these puzzles took me a while to figure out my first time through. Hence why I say it is the most tedious fucking room in the entire dungeon. Because of all the little rooms in it with all the tiny puzzles. It just may not look that tedious because I know what I'm doing. I've beaten the game four times, god. Okay. The shy one hides his shape, but the stars bring balance. The shy one hides his face. Okay, yeah, the shy one hides his face. Hiding. Hiding. 
Horazes. There we go. Awesome sausage, making all your dreams come true with the singer from Creed. Alrighty then. Well, with that being done, let's go ahead and head to this room, which I'm pretty sure we haven't already. I'm getting confused a bit. Oh, earlier I said one of the upper floors. There's actually, like, only two floors of doors. I, The f third floor contains what we're going to need all the keys for. Straight on, straight onward. We know the stars spurn us. Destroy all in your path. Okay. Destroy all in your path. Decepticons. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Has nothing to do with this LP. Okay. Oh boy. And to the next room we shall go. I'm pretty sure this is the one that's mirrored with the other room. And basically, if it is... Which it is. Okay, so... Now, what's gonna happen is, well, we have to destroy this block, too. Now, the red block that's sitting here in the downstairs room is gonna be gone, because we just destroyed that one. I think that now that I've showed you that, and I've... At the time that I said it, it's just... It's a little bit more understandable now, if you didn't understand the first time around. Alright, in the last door of the second floor... Ah, uh, yes, this is, uh... Hold on, first, let's read this, come on, come on. Let's fall the weakest, and let's, uh, then build to the strongest. So, basically, what we have to do is we have to fight the weakest enemy in here, and then we have to fight through to the next one that's a little bit stronger, to the next one that's a little bit stronger, and then to the last one. And so, the weakest one in here is from the beginning of the game. Poof. 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 And the last one. Poof. And with all of those poofs happening, there's another poof that makes the um the switch appear. Switch, switch, switch. And after hitting the switch, the chest appears. Now, why doesn't it just make the chest appear after beating all the enemies? Why does it have to bring out a switch and then you have to hit the switch and then the chest appears? It's it's really redundant, but whatever. Anyways, if we head downstairs again, we can go ahead and go to that room, and uh, we can collect the key from there, and then we have to hit the one block, and then we're going to have to head upstairs again. It's the only really time-consuming one. And there we go. Yeah, you guys get the picture now. All right. Cool beans, Brosif. And with that happening, let's go ahead and open it. Oh boy, a palace key, how expected. What's that? Josh empl employed editing in an area of the game that's not a battle? Holy fucking penis up my ass! Okay, basically, there's our last palace key. But we can't do jack shit here until we do something else first. I actually did all of this ahead of time, like, sooner than I was supposed to. And, uh, I actually have to go get, like, a stone key thing before I can actually use any of these. I just wanted to get these tedious puzzles out of the way first. Because they're, well, they're not exactly tedious. Like I said, I know what I'm doing with them, but they're rather time-consuming, as you can tell. Do-do-do-do-do. I miss sushi. Yeah, I might want to go ahead and go save after this. Do 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 Saving. Alright, there we go. And with the saving out of the way, let's go ahead and get around to the health. And we're getting ready to enter a battle. As far as I'm concerned, we just have to walk over here. In fact, see, the thing is, we wouldn't have been able to avoid this. See, we wouldn't have been able to do that ahead of time if we didn't just, like, stop here and then use Bobbery there. See, if we walked ahead a few more inches, nothing happens? I was pretty... Never mind. 